Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we're continuing our playthrough Titan Quest. Our Titan Quest playthrough, that's the right way to say it. And while I was waiting for some editing to happen, uh, let me just turn up my volume as well because I, I do want to hear the sounds. Perhaps I can help you. So while I was waiting about a week, two ago, for editing, I created another character which I went through and, well, played a few missions and I found some really cool items which I thought might be great for our character right now. Uh, basically, we have got a Theban, a Theban Crest Helmet which provides us with 60 armor, some health regeneration, some defensive ability, a stun resistance and well it's part of a set but I don't have any more items than that. Found some ardent griefs which are really awesome. They don't provide us a whole extra movement speed only 50% versus the 7% that we have right now. But once again more health regeneration, more energy regeneration, less damage from beastmen and the chance of fire retaliation. And then I found these two shields, but I guess this one is the best one, Aegis of Laconia. It's a 43 damage, does 43 damage, but so basically it's slightly weaker than our shield, I guess, in stats, in the basic stats, but it does have that extra defensive ability and pierce resistance, plus an extra plus one to all skills in defense mastery, the warfare mastery we do not have. The rest is magical, I keep them in here for maybe a possible future character. We could get some extra health and extra strength by using this loop, but I don't really care for it. And I found a formula. This right here is an Amber Flask. I need an Essence of Artemis' Brawl String, Pristine Plumage and Turtle Shell. We'll see in a second if we have all those to put them together and get, we would get, because it is a lesser artifact, we would get 10 pierce damage, 12 poison resistance, 20 defensive ability and 7 increased attack speed, which is not amazing, but it's not bad either. You will see how these work, it's really nice, the grim mechanic they've added for you. Look at these helmets. That looks really good and I do love this kind of shield. And finally, the Urden Greaves, look at that, that is a good look there. Uh, the combined armor is 240 right now, it's very good, and let's see for this. So we needed turtle shells, how many do we have? We have only three of them, then I believe I'm going to go back and try to farm some turtle shells. Pristine plumage, uh, I think we're very close to having that, let's see, we have these two. We have another two here, good, and what is the last one? The Essence of Bowstring, of Artemis' Bowstring, I know we have something close to that, right? We have two here, we have another one over on this side. So other than the turtle shell we have everything we need, so how about we go farming until we have all of the required resources. We'll put these things here. Let's clean up. The beasts have claws and teeth, but you have fire. You have Zeus-like bolts to throw, and I, I have things to sell you. Yeah, let's let's throw it in here, I guess, just so we don't sell them by mistake. Safe travels. And we'll take this portal. Hmm, where was a good place to farm for that? In Megara. I guess it was one of the ways. Maybe in Parnassus as well. Let's go with Megara first. Take a look at the map. So if I go by this, yeah, we'll, we'll get a lot of seaside here. We're just gonna start going north. We don't care to do too much. Oh, by the way, I went to options and here in the game speed I went to very fast. 
So that's why I'm moving even faster than before. It's just so we can go through the content a bit more quick. And get to the Atlantis, like the Nordic content and the Atlantis one. I think it is a good pace, it makes the whole experience a lot quicker. And more fun. I always thought that Titan Quest, at least at the normal speed, was very slow. So I am happy that they've added this option. It shows that the developers listened somewhere in there, like they took the feedback and when they decided to improve on the game and come back and add more add more content to it that they were like you know what how do we fix these issues and they've done well as far as i'm concerned we don't need to spend too much time in here but getting some extra money wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing in the world I'm just hoping that we can get the turtle shell like very quickly. Mm. There's a cyclops here, right? Yeah. And let's take him out again. And this time it's so much easier. We have that extra damage on us. We have a few more levels on top of it. Yeah, just some gold. And I think there was a small cave here with a quality chest, yes. Money, health potions, and that's about it. Okay, well, let's move out then. Hey, well, let's find our turtles then. Here we have a few ghosts. Easily being taken out by us. Essence of Valor of Achilles, not exactly what I wanted. Please give me turtle shells. You can see that the way like these monsters die now, because we we have this extra strength, it they do jump around, especially when we have like a critical uh, critical hit, like they fly off. I think with skeletons is probably the best example. Though I'm not sure exactly if we find any skeletons in the near future. To see those physics. Is that all there is here? Yeah, I think that was all there was to the turtles. Let's see, where is the next one? Like here we have the swamp. This is Delphi? Yeah. Hmm. Where else? I guess we go back to Megara and we take this road south. We take... we go the other way. Yes. Let's have the portal, let's go through it. Back to Megara. Then we'll go the other way around. Come on, turtles! Shouldn't be too hard to find. 
who knows, I'm not sure if there are penalties, it doesn't seem like so, there don't seem to be penalties to the items that you get by farming these areas, though I might be wrong. For the experience, I, I guess there's not really a penalty for experience either, mostly because it doesn't matter too much, like if they keep scaling up the amount of experience required to level up, then if this one would provide us with 2 experience and later monsters provide us with 10 experience then it's not really efficient to go through these areas. In a natural matter where you don't need any other kind of slow down mechanics I would say. We still have bitches. There's still a portion here. I don't see turtles. Okay, well, I think that if I save and I come back around, like they'll respawn. Like if I go to main menu and come back. So I'm not gonna spend more time like having you watch me go through this. And I'll be back in a second with the required turtle shells in order for us to uh, create this amber flask. So with that in mind, see you guys in a second. Hey, welcome back. This time it was a lot easier. I got lucky like in a few tries. So what we're going to do here, we're using the altar of creation. You can also use separation, basically breaking it up. But we're gonna put this recipe together, we're gonna throw in 75,000 and we've just created our first artifact. Completion bonus we get 15% chance for 90 to 30 piercing retaliation and we throw it in here. Now this is a lesser artifact, there are more types but it should add up to our damage. As you can see it's a good amount especially right now. So I'm going to take this portal back out to the beginning here and let's get this going. The mission, we're looking to locate and protect the artifact in Gnosis and we also have the Undead Tyrant somewhere in here. We'll see if we can find Gabe. Okay. We take most of the enemies out in one hit. A loop of endurance. Sure, let's pick that up as well. It's good money. And I can see a cave here, an ancient tomb. But I think it's from where we came. Hmm, let's see. Ancient tomb, here I come. What does it say? All legend in Osus tell of a wicked tyrant named Lucius who was poisoned by a servant. The legend claims that the Tyrant runs from his grave and walked the hills of Gnosis search for him in the cave of Triton's Reach. Well, we're in Triton's Reach, so let's look for the tomb and explore it. Okay, a few Gorgons, nothing that we can't handle. Oh, they have some sort of champions around here. Ok, 
Okay, let's gather this up. Take her down. Money, money, uh, health potions. Yeah, we'll take some of that. More health potions. We're getting really lucky. Actually, this game offers you a lot of health potions with some challenges. I mean, you can see that we're losing life on a constant basis. I do like how they leveled up their damage like how they scale it up as you move along you you feel stronger you never feel overpowered unless you have like one of these shrines the one we're about to pick up over here you're not if you're not taking like a battle master or something like that you never feel that powerful And if since the challenge is always there, you are a growing hero in the end. Mm. Light health potion. Her experience gain has gone down though. Here is the Lucius the first tyrant of Crete is using an ability it's from the warfare it's an ability that uh, the more you attack the quicker you will be hitting and the stronger you'll be hitting uh, do I care for anything around here let's see Rave Clasp, no. Let's keep going forward then. Durable Bracelet of the Glade. And that's only for mages. At this point I'm looking more for like the blue type of items, like these. Trying to get some sets going. So you will get most of these by doing multiple fray throughs. And there's something really nice, it doesn't feel like they're that rare. I mean, I guess with every character that you play you will get about two to three, like in those first areas you will get two to three blue items. It's just that you might not get the one that you want for your class. For example, we we had the Oracle's Boots, which I placed and gave it to another character, to a spellcaster. And we found uh, with this character a few more items, just that there weren't, it wasn't for us. Just a bit unfortunate, but eh, what can you do? Hmm. Any good sword? I don't see anything else. Anything good at the Bye. moment. So I feel like going forward is the right thing to do. Gnosis Palace. Get ready to go through the labyrinth. Essence of Heracles Might, that is great. Mm, let's take the Frost Leech and down because it seems like it's throwing some falls around. I do not like that.
you know what? I like taking a look at this game. Twin City is pretty relaxing, like we don't have to pay attention too much to the game. Maybe what I'll do in the near future is that I'll work on doing a first stream by playing Titan Quest. You know, just something to get going to uh, give me a chance to speak to you guys, get to know you better and what you like to play and, you know, get some of those things going. It's just that I've been focused so much on trying to get YouTube right. And there's still a lot to learn, like I'm making so many mistakes. I, I did one with ordering like Total War Troy last week, like I was so focused on uh, the marriage ceremony and everything else that yeah, I missed a few things. Not that I'm complaining, it's just that it's, it's constantly eye-opening and I've, I guess this is in every industry where when you look from the outside things don't look as difficult, don't look too difficult, but when you start to work in the industry you realize like how much work it actually takes. Drawing doesn't seem like such a difficult thing to do until you start drawing and then you realize that you, <laughs> you can barely draw a face. No mind drawing a hand. Even if you try to do animations or things like that. Court of King Minus. It used to be in here, in the Minoan Labyrinth, like in the old versions. Yeah, now that we have this, look at how they break. It, it used to be that this area, the mineral labyrinth, like you would enter it and you would not have a minimap up here. Like you just wouldn't see it. And they removed that. To be honest, I'm happy that they removed that because on one side, I guess it had that feeling of, ooh, we're going through the labyrinth. See, they've replaced it with this one. Because when you, when you didn't have the, the minimap, it might have felt like it's fun, maybe the first time you did it, but after that, it became really annoying too, because you didn't know exactly where to go. And I was mostly a completionist, a map completionist, when I started. Because that's what I was doing in Diablo as well, like I was exploring the entire map. Until I had all the edges complete and all the middle and everything in between, like I was not going for quick runs. I was trying to explore around because you never knew when a good item would drop, right? And so now you can see, like, you have somewhat of a map. It's not perfect, but the big corridors are there. And if you want to be a, a, someone who explores the area, you could do so. Mm, let's try to go here. Should have done the old way of doing the labyrinth, always keeping to the right wall and follow it. I'm imagining that there were plenty of labyrinths in the world. Like in olden times you would punish someone by sending them through the labyrinth. There is the one in Crete. Though I've never been there, so... Who knows, maybe one day I will? This sounds like a wonderful place to, to go to, especially at the seaside. My brother has been there on a few occasions and looks really good. Like that sea, the color of the sea. It's good. It's very different than what we have here in Romania, like the Black Sea. But its color is very different than what you see in pictures of exotic places. Maybe that's why it's called the Black Sea.
Hatches of destruction, some loops of energy, but we're not really using that. You can see that the life eaters are tougher, mostly because they're drinking the blood, like they get that regeneration. So even though you're trying to take them down, the absorption rate of or the health absorption rate is really big. Okay, we've been through here. Let's see, is there any other exit? Yeah, there's one here. What I'm doing right now is that I'm trying to follow the road towards that rebirth fountain. There we go. Nice. Hey, well, keep going forward. Toy Poloi, like we've got so many of that item. Like we had two free in this run, and I've got it one more time with the other character. Not sure why the drop rate for it is so high, or maybe just we got unlucky. We just generated that low level item a few times. Level up. Where are we at now? This is level 17. So you can see that the text is in yellow because we get plus one from our shield. We have six mastery points. Do I want to go further here? Getting that defensive mastery would be good. More armor is good as well or just trying to get disable focus for the shield block four points there would be great as well or we could go in the rune mastery and we could keep adding up to this one sacred rage something that happens automatically magical charge what would we unlock at the next level Intimenter's radius, reduction of enemy health, reduce damage for 3 seconds, and a chance to cause fear. 4% chance to explode in the area. Unleash the full force of Thunderbolt to electrocute and daze enemies across a wide area. They would get some electrical burn damage and get confused. And a manier wall. Shall I go like this? I think, yeah. Together with the strength, it offers some damage. It's not perfect, but it's some. And if you think about it, like if we can get a few more chances to do passive damage, right? Random damage by a certain percentage. And that is good enough to begin with. And then we'll start investing depending on what we need like if we need more defense then i'm gonna start investing more and more into the defense tree and if we need more damage we'll take on the basic skills and throw more points into them the right way oh, I wonder yep we found another one of those though at the same time it might not be we're starting to see Minotaur so that should be a good sign right 
I feel like that. We have some Minotaur Conquerors and the Crown Breakers. Sanguine Straight Bow, Ring of Endurance, what is this? 52 health. Hmm. I can see the quest, Minotaur Lord. Obsidian Crescent, that looks like a hammer or an axe? An axe. 36 to 45 damage with an average speed, 5 vitality damage, you know what? Like, I prefer the sword, but let's try to use this axe for a second. Because it doesn't have a lot of speed. We're not getting a lot of the casting abilities that we have. You know, those automatic abilities. I prefer the speed. Yeah, I definitely prefer the speed. Okay, here is the next fountain. Really nice of them that they put down some some sort of signs that you are going in the right direction. And taking a look at this minimap, it almost looks like it makes no sense. Because the color is so dark and that you and because you reveal a good portion of the map when you move around, but it almost doesn't make sense. Still, imagine doing this while also not having a minimap at all. Like just having it be complete dark, like if, when you look on it you don't see anything. This is so much better. It's going, we're gonna get another level up really soon. Mechanical parts, great. These ones are mostly inspired from Talos. It's a beast made, or a beast, a mechanical monster. A man made out of copper, which was huge and is basically in the story, in the legends, it's made by Fastus. If you are watching the Zeus series that I'm doing, you will see him there as well. And maybe what I should be playing at some point, and I think I've mentioned this before, is like doing a playthrough or, you know, not a playthrough, but maybe a few skirmishes of Age of Mythology. All these great games, I don't know if how you feel about them, but it's definitely a huge part of my childhood and I'm so happy to come back to them and play them. Okay, some energy. A 
majestic chest. Let's open it. But we didn't get anything that is that impressive, that majestic. Mm, I think I'm gonna take this passage here. Good, good. Okay, we're getting ready here. Let's see to meet the bull. Yep, there's the door. Taking a look at the clock, I see that this is all the time that we have for today. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow as we're taking on the rule from Minos and continuing the campaign. Until then, I wish you all to have a wonderful day.